Hello, Colas, and welcome back to Viva Barca, the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing the latest update on FC Barcelona as usual, starting with this report claiming that Barcelona, Real Madrid, and Juventus reunite to discuss Super League plans. Of course, the Super League plans are still very much alive. We are going to be discussing much about that as we move ahead. Then to conclude, we are going to be talking about second choice goalkeeper Neto as reports are claiming that Brazilian club Flamingo, I mean the very club that is linked with Felipe Coutinho have also shown interest in Neto and reports are saying that Flamingo is in negotiations with Neto's representative currently. We are going to be discussing on that as well. So guys, as we get ready to discuss those stories in much detail, please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed, give this video a like and make sure to watch this video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. The European Super League project was one of the lowest moments in football in 2021, a rock competition involving just 20 elite clubs in Europe. You know, it was the brainchild of Real Madrid president Florentino Perez and Juventus chairman Andrea Agnelli. Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, Liverpool, Chelsea, Manchester United, Manchester City, Arsenal, Tottenham, AC Milan, Inter Milan were the other 10 teams involved in the formation of the Super League, along with Juve and Real Madrid. The tournament you know, would be contested between 15 founding members of the competition and 5 qualified teams split into 2 groups of 10 in round-robin format. However, the project crashed and burned even before it could take off as fans launched mass protests against the breakaway league, forcing clubs to back off. The Premier League clubs were the first ones to pull out and others followed. But Real Madrid, Barcelona and Juventus, you know, continue to be there, you know, remain adamant about rebranding and relaunching the project as a competitor to the UEFA Champions League and the Europa League. Now, Financial Times, you know, is reporting that, you know, the supremos of the three clubs, that is Perez of Real Madrid, Agnelli of Juventus, and Barcelona president Juan Laporta, are set to meet in the coming days as they look to take the project back to the public in 2022. So, the report claims that the trio had already held a meeting back in August last year to discuss the next steps for their idea. Now, they are planning further talks as they look to relaunch the project while avoiding legal issues against UEFA and other footballing bodies that oppose it. So the European Super League project could very well rear its ugly head yet again in the new year with potential tweaks to the initial format that was proposed. Fans though are unlikely to be swayed but it seems like Perez and co remain stubborn about this project. Then on to the next story of discussion. The primary objective of the Barcelona offices at the moment is facilitating player departures. The operation of overseeing departures from the Camp Nou is directly related to the registration of new signings. Among the names linked with a move away from Barcelona is Neto, the Brazilian goalkeeper who joined Barcelona in 2019. According to reports from Sport, Flamingo has held talks with the shortstoppers representatives over a move to Brazil. Moreover, Neto himself is said to be keen on returning home, and that could be the pioneering factor Barcelona require. Flamingo have also been linked to Felipe Coutinho, who could move to Brazil in an attempt to help his World Cup selection case. Since he arrived at the club, Neto has been an eternal second fiddle to Mark andre Ter Stegen. The Brazilian did get a few weeks of prominence at the beginning of the season when the German was recovering from surgery. However, he did not make a lasting impression with his performances. Neto was involved in a swap deal with Jasper Silicon in what was a controversial move between the Spanish sides. The deal was said to be one made of, you know, to balance their accounts. Last season, Neto started seven games for Barca in the league. In those opportunities, he considered close to one goal per game. That number, however, went up to 1.5 this season in his league stats. Diego Alves has been Flamingo's go-to man in goal this season, having started 26 games in the um, Brasiliano Serie A. He has made close to 3 saves per game and was crucial in the team's match in the league. However, at 36, he does not have age on his side, 
Neto would be an apt replacement for the former Valencia player. So guys, with that we come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't, please make sure to subscribe so you always stay up to date with the latest on FC Barcelona here on Viva Barca. Until next time, bye-bye.